what is the test of water? The distilled water is testless, is neither acidic nor basic. There are some other substances which are neither acidic nor basic and are chemically inert in nature. They are called as indicators. They change their color in presence of acid or base. We know that it is very harmful to touch or taste acid or base without knowing their concentration and hence typical indicators are used to recognize them. A very commonly used indicator is litmus paper which is mainly used to test acid or base. Universal color in the presence of acid and base. Take vinegar, lime juice, baking soda, dilute HCl etc. in various test tubes. Add few drops of phenolphthalein. Check with litmus papers and methyl orange. Sample solution Red litmus, blue litmus, phenolphthalein, methyl orange, nature of solution, acidic or basic. Challenge Collect information about how litmus paper is made. What color change is indicative of acid or base in case of universal indicators? Check your information with the results obtained in the experiment above. Students, you must have experienced spilling food on your clothes and having stains of turmeric on your shirt. What happens if you try to wash it with soap? Yes, it turns red. This color change happens because of chemical reaction between turmeric and alkaline material of soap. What can you say about turmeric? That's right. Here turmeric acts as a natural indicator. With the simple domestic indicators such as turmeric or by adding alkali to acid, we can identify acidic or alkaline substances. Now, can you make indicator papers similar to litmus paper using domestic substances? Discuss with your friends and explore ways of making it. Now, let us discuss properties of acids and bases. How do we find what are the constituents of acids and bases? The main constituent of acid is H plus ion or acid molecules contain hydrogen ion H plus as a main constituent. They give H plus ions in solution state. For example, HCl dissociates in water solution. HCl aqueous gives H plus Cl hydrochloric acid, hydrogen ion plus chloride ion. Whereas, alkalis give hydroxide OH minus ions in their water solution. For example, sodium hydroxide's water solution gives sodium ion and hydroxide ion. NaOH aqueous gives Na plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. Sodium hydroxide gives sodium ion and hydroxide ion. What will happen if we add acid and alkali? Sodium carbonate when reacts with concentrated hydrochloric acid, carbon dioxide gas is released. This carbon dioxide gas when passed through lime water, the lime water turns milky. This is confirmatory test of CO2. Let's try to write this chemical reaction. Acid plus base gives salt and water. HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride and water. This chemical reaction is called neutralization. Let's revise the properties of acids and alkalis or bases. Acids soar in test. Hydrogen ion H plus is the main constituent. Acids react with metal to release hydrogen gas, react with carbonates and liberate CO2 gas. Blue litmus turns red. Alkalis or bases bitter in test. Hydroxide ion OH- is the main constituent. Slippery in touch. Metal hydroxides are generally alkaline in nature. 
red litmus turns blue caution always remember for identification of any substance it is dangerous to test inhale or touch them summary we understood the use of indicators which are neither acidic nor basic and are inert in nature to identify acidic or basic substances without testing inhaling or touching them challenge discuss uses and importance of neutralization reaction in daily life